Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside Natalie Poole. And Coach, things going pretty well. A nice 4 and one week for you last week. It was. We were definitely happy to get the midweek wins and then turn around and be able to pull a couple wins out this weekend in conference. And so it was, uh, it was a much better week. Let's go back to the midweek games against Austin P. You got your offense really rolling 9-1 and an 8-5 win over the Governors. It was, you know, and we didn't have sometimes some of those innings that I would have liked to have seen us spread some of those runs out, mm -hmm. but was definitely proud that we had a better offensive presence. You know, we've really been up and down in terms of offense. We'll come out, you know, have 10 hits in one game and then none hit, no hits in another game, and so it definitely would be nice to spread those out, but it was great to get those wins. It seems to be the way it is, uh, just in softball with baseball as well. The, the offense can move up and down, but you got to have that defense and that pitching be consistent throughout. We do, and, um, and at times I feel like we've played really nice defense and in some very crucial situations. Um, you know, we're very young. You know, in our lineup this past weekend, in two of the games, eight of our ten people in the lineup are freshmen and sophomores, and then in our second game of the series this weekend, we have nine of ten. And so we know that we have some inexperience on the field, and even our seniors, only one of those two seniors actually got decent playing time last year. And so... We're very inexperienced as well as young, and um, and so we go through some growing pains here and there. You had a big, a big weekend. You needed a couple of conference wins. You get them. You win two out of three against Temple. Of course, you're always greedy. You like to get the sweep, but yeah. conference play, it's tough to, to grab sweeps, so getting two out of three pretty good over the weekend. Absolutely, and while we've been struggling also to get those wins in conference, it was nice to get those, and so um, – I definitely was happy to be at home, be able to play a home series here in front of a crowd. Coach, let's talk about the, the first day, the doubleheader. Uh, you lost one nothing in the first game. Nice comeback, though, in the second game to win 6-4. The first game kind of frustrating through a one-hitter. They're able to scratch out that one nothing win. Yeah, it was pretty frustrating. Ellen threw a great game. Um, the one hit we give up is a home run, you know, and then we just couldn't make the adjustment at the plate. Their pitcher is a pretty good pitcher, but she's not overpowering with speed. She just moved the ball pretty well. and kept our hitters off balance, and so um, it just didn't fall our way, which was very frustrating to watch. It's great to bounce back, though, because that can be a frustrating <laughs> loss that carries over. Obviously, then you come back and you storm out to a 6-4 win. Absolutely, and uh, Christian came out, and you know she, she gave up some runs, but also kept us in the ball game, and um, she's shown a lot of strength as a freshman, and I'm really proud of her, and I think this experience will go a long way for her, but um, but yeah, it was great to come back and be able to see a better offensive presence and their their off, their numbers for their number two pitcher wasn't far off their number one, so I was definitely pleased. You come back in game three, the rubber match of the series, uh, series on the line, you come out with a one nothing win, another tight one. Absolutely. I think we've been in at least 15, 16 games at this point that are one nothing, and we haven't always been on the winning side of that, <laughs> so I was definitely proud of them for, for staying strong. And, and even in a situation in the final inning with bases loaded, we were able to come out of it. And, and so I was uh, definitely proud of us for pulling out that win. You're in a pretty good stretch now, 4-1 and one last week. You get to stay at home this week, which I know is good because you'll face Tennessee Martin Wednesday, 5 o'clock over the softball complex. What do you know about the Skyhawks this year? You know, they're aggressive offensively. They've got some good numbers um, just down the board when I looked at their lineup. They also like to run the bases. They'll make a fair amount of errors, um, and their pitching is pretty good. I, you know, uh, Coach Andy talked to their coach last week, and he was a little bit concerned about them getting through uh, last week with their pitching, but their pitching numbers look pretty good. I know that they're going to be aggressive. That's the way he does it. He's got some, some big swingers, and so, you know, our job is to go out there and play the best one game that we can play, and you know, best seven innings pitching-wise, defensive-wise, and hopefully we show up and, and do our job offensively and come out aggressive. You're staying at home this weekend. You're playing one of the best teams in the league. And one of the best teams we played when we were in Conference USA, Houston, mm -hmm. they're a big hitting team. I believe they're hitting uh, at 300 overall this season. They are. And they've played some great competition. So they're hitting 300 as a team, facing uh, some some impressive an impressive schedule that they have faced. They're definitely, the coach has been around for a while. She's established a good program. And they're one of the more steady teams. And so it's going to be a challenge for us. Um, however, you know, I look forward to it, and I hope that we play them better than we've ever played them. Well, it looks like another good weekend of weather for that Houston series, so you know you'll be mm -hmm. able to get all three in. Absolutely. It's going to be probably the warmest we've played yeah. in, and um, you know, as far as being here, of course, and so I'm looking forward to it. All right, Coach, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. That is Natalie Poole, and I'm Jeff Brightwell. This is the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.